Hey foodies, I love pasta. And one thing that I really enjoy making is ravioli because you can put whatever you want into the recipe. I've got a basic recipe here, which is basil, sun-dried tomatoes, Parmigiano-Reggiano, and a bit of garlic scape pesto. And we're just gonna mix it up. We're gonna make a nice sauce, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make the actual shells. So you can look at the recipe for the, shell, the, the, the pasta noodles here. But first, we're gonna start making the sauce. So I'm gonna get my cutting board, and I'm going to chop up some sun-dried tomatoes. Whatever you're gonna put into your filling, you wanna make sure it stays pretty small so that it doesn't puncture any of the, um, any of the noodle. Okay, and now I'm gonna use my basil. And I find when I put my basil all in one big roll, it cuts really nicely. Okay, and I'm going to mix that in with the sun dried tomatoes. Okay, now I'm gonna use some garlic scape pesto. You can use regular garlic, but I have some dietary restrictions where I need to have scape pesto and not regular garlic. So I'm gonna use a bit of teaspoon, which would be about two cloves worth of garlic. And then, yes, my favorite, Parmigiano Reggiano. Grate a little bit, and this helps bind the filling. because I'm going to use that for topping everything at the end. Okay, and then a little bit. I'm going to put that aside. A little bit of salt. And some olive oil. And then we'll mix all that up. smells amazing. Oh, look at the colors in that. It just, the reds, the greens, the white, I mean, it just, it looks beautiful. And now I just dumped it all over my counter. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Okay, and that could use a little bit more olive oil. Not much. There we go. You want it to be a little bit sticky, not too dry so that it actually is more like a, a paste almost. You could definitely put this in your food processor, but there's no real need because you don't need to have a whole lot. So that's the filling all ready to go. So I'm gonna take a minute and I'm just gonna get everything ready for making the, the pasta noodles. So now it's time to make the pasta noodle. This is a basic pasta recipe. So you can make ravioli, you can make tortellini, you can make spaghetti, you can make pretty much any shape of pasta or style of pasta you want with this basic recipe. Today, we're gonna to make ravioli. So you wanna start by adding your flour. your salt. I'm adding a little bit of psyllium fiber just to help um, create a little bit more elasticity with the, the, the gluten-free flour and also to give it a little bit more fiber. And I'm going to mix that up really lightly. Oh, 
Okay, now I'm gonna add my egg. There we go. And I'm only gonna add about two to four tablespoons of water to start, and then I'm gonna add more water as it needs it. Okay, so it looks like there's enough in there, and it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Oh, I might have added a bit too much water. That's okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of flour to help soften that up, or, or dry it up a bit. So there's my flour. You want a nice, well-floured surface. What's really nice about working with a gluten-free flour um, versus a wheat flour when you're making pasta is you don't have to knead it, you don't have to create that elasticity because th there's no elasticity to, to create, and that's why I added the psyllium fiber. Oh, this feels really nice. So I'm gonna a little bit more flour on the bottom, and then a little on the top and I'm gonna roll it out. I've tried rolling pasta out where, um, with, a, with a pasta maker, and it just, it doesn't work as well as just using a rolling pin. But if you have a secret for using a, a pasta maker and gluten-free flour, write it in the comments below. I look forward to uh, figuring out how I can still use my, roll, my, my pasta maker. Look at that, doesn't that look good? Okay, so now I'm gonna just let that sit there for a minute. I'm gonna crack an egg into a bowl because I need to have an egg wash. And that's to help seal the edges once I cut out the ravioli and put the filling in. Because this is where it all starts to come together. Okay. I'm gonna set an egg wash there, a little brush, my filling. Now I'm using just a square cutter and I'm gonna cut out two of them for each, a top and a bottom. But you could do a round, you could use a square and just put a little, a smaller amount and fold it in half. And I've done that too. I just really like the square. And it, it creates a lot more body and, and bulk. And you just go around and you cut them out. Just like that. Okay, so I've got all of these cut out. Now I'm just gonna lift up two at a time. I'm gonna flip one over so it doesn't have that much flour on it. And I'm gonna paint one, oops, paint one and put a little bit of filling in it. Just like that. And slide this one on top and just go around and smooth out the edges. There we go, there's one. Paint. And you'll really get into a real good groove once you get moving on these things. So here we go. I'm gonna let these sit for about 20 minutes and then we're gonna start cooking them off and we're gonna have a wonderful pasta. So I've got my pot boiling there. I'm gonna turn it up a bit. And I'm going to drop these in. You're gonna see that they sink right to the bottom. And that's great, it's a good sign. And I think that's all I want to have for myself. I, they're very filling, so you don't want to cook them all off. I'll do one more, why not? Okay. And you can see them starting to float already. That's a sign that they're almost fully cooked.
Okay, so they're cooked now. And pull them out. Wait, I want one scoop. Maybe? Oh, I did. A bit of olive oil. I just want to crisp them up a little bit. This is an extra optional step you don't have to do. So these are almost to the perfect crispness that I like. I've gone ahead and made a tomato sauce. You can check in the description below for the recipe, or you can click the link here. Oh, this looks beautiful. I'm gonna put a little bit of Parmigiano-Reggiano on it. And I'm gonna give it a try. Mm, look at these noodles, they look amazing. Like, look at the shape, they've held all of their filling inside. I'm really excited, excited to try this. Mmm. It's like a little present inside of the pasta. It's so exciting. You're gonna love it. I look forward to seeing in the description or in the comments below what, what your favorite filling is for ravioli. Have you ever made it? Give, it, give, give me a note and let me know what, what you think. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.